My brothers, I welcome you guys to Bible study. Chapter 69 of Cheek Slang Clappalations. Church is now to begin. I need my Cheek Slang soldiers to check in. It wasn't done in the wrong way. But it was just... It's time! She belongs to the streets. My boyfriend of two years had another girlfriend the whole time. <laughs> Hi, my name's Stefania, and I have more bodies than all my friends combined. Yay! One time I dated a man for three months, and he still never kissed me. Yay! I tatted my boyfriend's name on my chest, and he cheated on me a week later. Yay! I let my ex borrow my car, and he crashed it on his way to visit his other girlfriend. Yay! I went over to my girlfriend's house, just an experiment and she got back with her boyfriend. Yeah! The bar I set for men is so low that when he texts me out of the blue so he can use me again, I get happy because he's choosing to use me again. Yeah! A word from our cheek slang secretary of defense. The indifference shown to my colleagues is disgraceful. Disgraceful. My brothers, at the cheek slang gospels, you shall be enlightened with the untold truths. At the Cheek Slang Gospels, this is a place where we castrate the simp out of every single man. In the name of the Cheek oh Slang God. Fathers, oh I commend the simp spirits to leave this God. man's body at once. May the beta male simp man genre be relinquished. But today, the simp force is strong. The Jezebel spirits crawl among us. And we have been outmatched by the Kareem Gobblers. Kareem Gobblers. And this can only mean one thing. Desperate times comes with desperate measures. May I cast down me Irish friend. <laughs> Mr. Connor McGregor. Mr. McGregor, we ask for your elbows of justice to smash some sense into these women. Oh no! You want to take a chance and risk getting knocked out? Oh my god! Wow! Mr. McGregor, we call forth your fist of fury. Perfect. So you can smash the simp out of these blue pill manginas. To get things started. These guys are just standing right in front of each other. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. McGregor, chase down that son of a simp that paid for that girl's OnlyFans. What you gonna do? You gonna do something over there? Put your fucking mouth. Oh, I got him. Mr. McGregor, we call forth the Crescent Moon Kick. Perfect. Crescent, Crescent oh. Moon Kick. So you can smash the cream out of these cream gobblers. Southpaw against Southpaw. What happened? Where did all the men go? Well, was oh. Because first, when they're in their 20s, they want to act like a bunch of 304s. I waited two months to fuck this guy raw, and after we fucked raw, he goes to me. Yay! I dated this guy that didn't have health insurance, and that was his personal STI test. Yay! I dated a guy who had me drive him to CVS to pick up my Valentine's Day present. Yay! I got played by a guy that wanted me first. Woo! Both the guys that were talking to you got girlfriends. Woo! The last guy I hooked up with doesn't remember my name. You stupid bitch. The bar is set for men is so low that when he offers to pay for my plan B, I think he's a gentleman. Yeah! The bar is set for men is so low that when he told me he fucked his ex and his best friend, I said thank you for being honest. Yeah! The bar I set for men is so low that when he comes to pick me up for a date and he actually knocks on the door, I'm ready to propose. Yeah! Get the fuck out of here! I sneak my boyfriend in while my parents are sleeping. <laughs> I steal my dad's credit card to buy my boyfriend weed. I dated a really nice guy, then broke up with him and dated his best friend. 
I lost my virginity in the back of a car. I dated my best friend Stephanie. Woo! 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 I went back to my cheating ex. Woo! My ex has hooked up with all of my friends. Yeah! I hooked up with my best friend's boyfriend. Woo! So I was talking to a guy for three years and he never made me his girlfriend. Yay! And then after, when they get into their 30s, they want to cry for a man. Where did all the good men go? She wants a man, but she does not know how to be a wife. I want you to tell these cream gobblers to shut their freaking mouth. So I've, I'm all, almost living on my own for about six years now. And I've never really had a relationship very brief ones and i've dated enough guys Dream for doubles. some reason it never got to a point where it was a real serious relationship whatever kid okay. we couldn't give a bollocks i've never been living with someone else i've always been on my own Dream doublers. you know my biggest dream is this seems really silly but my biggest dream is coming home to someone. Shut your fucking mouth! Mr. McGregor, we thank you for the cheek slamming demolition. Me and my cheek slammed disciples will always be forever indebted to you. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. We thank you for your contribution. Get that simp that paid for that girl's OnlyFans. Get that simp that got back with his cheating ex. Outstanding! Wow. Now my cheek slain disciples, it's time to resume chapter 69 of cheek slain clapulations. Because in this gospels, I want you guys to feast your eyes upon this dating profile. Ashley. She's the age of 30, but I cannot speak upon this woman without mentioning the size of her freaking forehead. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> her forehead is so big that on her driver license ID, the photo says to be continued on the back. Oh my god! Her forehead is so big that her face is her chin. Bitch, what the fuck? And I do not mean this without any malicious intent. She looks like a handsome Squidward. Oh my god! Her forehead is so big that I can write a five page essay on there. Because I want you guys to look at this dating profile. She says she's the mother of three kings and she is the age of 30. Which means her SMB is starting to decline. And I want you guys to read the next line. Ooh, rhyming accidentally. Then she says, do not hit my line if you can't see yourself being a step parent. And I cannot see myself being your man because this is the problem with modern women. They think that they're entitled to everything because in the cheek slang clapulations, it says single moms be having all these standards, but her baby daddy never met any of them. Oh! can't make this shit up. Kevin Samuels said it best because in the cheek slang clapulations behind all those girls that says, don't hit my line. I'm single. I don't need a man. So to translate this in the language of the woman needs. Just know somebody is piping her raw. <laughs> because this is the type of girl you just want to send back into the streets. She belongs to the streets. Because in Cheek Slang Clapolations, verse 69, chapter 69, it states, you guys get nervous around pretty girls. That's a little fucking weenie. Just know that that 10 out of 10, her ex cheated on her multiple times, which means she's now a three out of 10. And the lower the girl on is on the scale, it should be easier to approach. My cheek slaying disciples, never be afraid to shoot your shot. Now watch this guys, watch this abundance mindset. I don't give a fuck. 
<laughs> you be ferocious! You be relentless! This is Sparta! Perfect! You be ferocious! You be relentless! Impression. My fellow kings and my fellow disciples, I've been to the cheek slaying trenches, slayed a plethora of cheeks, collected many bodies. And when I slay these cheeks, I go to the cheek slaying arena. I hold these ass cheeks high in the sky. Just got done rearranging some guts. What the fuck? Full display for my cheek slaying disciples to see that another cheek has been slayed, another guts has been rearranged, another body has been collected. And I place these ass cheeks on boss's desk to let him know her guts has been rearranged, dismantled. Who's next? And I collect the checks and I bounce. Because according to my cheek slaying analysis, my cheek slaying Sharinga <laughs> allow me to share my experience, allow me to preach to the gospels. Because those beautiful women that you see, the girls who are 10 out of 10, the ones with the big voluptuous bongos. <laughs> Perfect. The, the girls with the face of makeup, the girl that posts her half of her bongos hanging out on Instagram. Those girls seem very voluptuous, very pretty. But those girls are not as pretty as they seem. Because the guy she chooses always destroys her self-esteem. Because he does not treat her like a queen. So that is the guy she shall Swallow his cream. Cream. Because my fellow kings always look at yourself as a prize. Because in the name of the cheek slang collaborations. Collaborations chapter 69. It states, my brother, if you put a beautiful woman in second place, and you in first place. She shall always be the one to chase. I said this a lot, but I'm gonna say it again because I've been away for a while. If a guy is not literally obsessed with you, we don't fuck with him. Bottom line, we become so obsessed with getting these losers to like us before we even know if we like them, as a human even. So we spend all this time trying to get them to text us back, trying to get them to snap us back, whatever. And we don't even know if we like them yet. My disciples, open your cheek slaying handbooks to chapter 69, verse 3. It states, always put yourself and your mission first. Treat yourself like a king. Because if you treat her like a slave, she shall become your new faith. Tell me why my man who ain't my man, but I say, or at least I act like is my man, but it's definitely not my man because he fucking ain't worthy. He has the audacity to text me at 9 p.m. Are you coming? Sir, we have not been on good terms this whole fucking week. Today, we barely even messaged each other and I kept my responses short as fuck. I work tomorrow in the morning and it's foggy as fuck. What the hell do you think? Yes. <laughs> I fucking drove, guys! I drove to his house and I'm actually right here waiting for him to get in my fucking car because your girl is stupid! I did not learn my lesson! The psychopathic bitch. 2020! Oh, you lord! My brothers, allow me to do a cheek slang analysis of the video we just watched. What a lot of men do not understand about female nature is that the assholes, the cheek slayers, the fuck boys, the alphas, the pookies and tyrones, the ray rays, the Asian gunslingers, what they do so well that get women to chase is that they get the girl to invest in them, not financially, but emotionally. Because what you guys need to understand is that women are emotional creatures. The guys who engages her emotions the most, the guy that she cries and complains about, that is the guy who is digging out the guts. You see that this girl, she's coming to his house at 9 p.m. 
and at 9 p.m., what do you think they're going to do? Sit at home and just freaking play checkers and read the Bible? This is what is going to happen. Because what you guys need to understand is that in the video, she was emotional. She was like, oh, we haven't been texting all day. He's been short. I don't want to talk to him. But you never pay attention to what a woman says. You pay atten attention to her actions. And she's about to go get her guts rearranged. So get her to invest emotionally. Because the guy who gets the girl to invest emotionally, he has some kind of value to offer to her which is masculine frame. Because if you guys look at this chart, masculine frame is about leading, taking charge, confidence, assertive, leadership. And if you have these traits of a masculine man, what she's going to do is she's going to be put in her feminine energy, submissive, cooperative, friendly. Balancing us out, yeah. that's what I think. Biologically, we tend to be even driven to be more feminine as women. Not necessarily, obviously. Everyone's got masculinity, femininity, yin and yang. Because in the Cheek Slaying Gospels, it states in Clapalation 69, if you are a man in his masculine frame, the attraction shall maintain her guts you shall rearrange, and her pussy you shall tame. Relax your thighs, get on top and start to ride until you feel the meat. And I'm gonna feel the good day. Fellow cheek slaying disciples, allow me to show you some infield work because, my brothers, I want you guys to embrace your masculinity. Do it by leading. The word is yeah. uh -uh. It's over. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna practice and I'm gonna beat you and you're gonna be crying and I'm gonna wipe your tears. Are you done talking? I'm done. Incorrect. <laughs> Shout out to Miles H. I can tell you've been doing some masculinity work because if you look here, I'm walking a little bit in front of her. I'm leading her. Because whenever you guys see a man who is behind his girl, a girl who's walking slightly ahead of him, you can tell that that girl is running the relationship and he's the cuck, the beta male simp manjana. You know what that means? Pussy. <laughs> Give him a couple more months and that shit will go into flames. Because as a man, it is your job to lead her. Because here's the thing. I want you guys to not hate female nature because in the cheek slang collaborations, never hate her nature. Be greater because over here, I do not like black pill guys. Oh, oh my God, female nature, we're all doomed. Those guys, the only girls they're getting is their right hand. Just jerking the johns and all that. Just <gasps> trauma the cobra and not over here, we're about masculinity, rising to the challenge, embracing the challenge, because we accept it. That's why the strongest guys, the guys who know how to lead, the guys who do not bitch and complain, because complaining emasculates the man. He realizes there's a problem and he's not willing to do anything to solve it. So to answer you guys' question, do women prefer feminine men or masculine men? Let's check it out. Do you like masculine or feminine men? Masculine. I say more feminine. Masculine? A mix. Masculine. Feminine men. Masculine. Oh, masculine men. Okay, why? Because they can look after me. They can protect me, you know, when I'm in danger. It's kind of like they're like buff or like they're big. What about masculine men do you like? Broader shoulders. Just May the cheek slain fathers ascend down from the gates of heaven and enlighten us and bless us with the cheek slain declaration of independence. My brothers, in cheek slain collaboration 69, it states if you are a man, who operates in his masculine, you shall shoot the cream in her like a javelin. Because my brothers, if you are a man who works out and builds his muscle, you shall dig her guts out like a shovel. 
For myself, I can say that I like better uh, masculine men. So what is it that you like about masculine men? I think that they are brave. Uh, they know what they want. Just the feeling uh, I'm safe with him. So what then is it about feminine men that you don't like? Maybe the, f the imitation of the girls and it's not the, so um, original because they, they could be like more special if they would be more masculine. More masculine but if he has a feminine side it, it would matter. What is it then about masculine men that you like? That you feel safe around them. I think that masculine guys are um, more dedicated to you. I, I think I um, I think about that when I think about um, more masculine guys. Okay. What about masculine men do you like? Well, they're men, aren't they? Men, uh, <laughs> yes, we love men. So what do you think is a masculine quality in a guy? To be able to take responsibility, any kind of responsibility. Balancing us out, yeah. that's what I think. Biologically, we tend to be even driven to be more feminine as women. Not necessarily, obviously. Everyone's got masculinity, femininity, yin and yang. See, so Exactly, something going on. But I feel for myself, I'm more saying this is feminine, so I'd rather have a man who's more masculine to balance that out, okay. so he can balance each other well. Okay. I like when they dress like like really masculine, like when their muscles okay. are like showing, not like too big, you know, but like the right amount. I would say masculine. What is it about men that you like, like masculine men? I really like older men, so oh. I mean, <laughs> not like really old. Yeah, no. You know, okay. older than me. And what about older men do you find masculine? I like how they take the lead. I would say masculine men, I think. I would probably go for like a bit of a combination of want someone that's too masculine and also has a bit of a feminine side. Masculine. Masculine, definitely. Very firm choices from these ladies. Okay, <laughs> so what is it about masculine men that you like? I mean, if they make you feel more feminine, I think that's good. Let's think about feminine qualities. What is a feminine quality you would actually find quite attractive in a guy? If they're caring or gentle. Okay, okay. Good listener. So there you have it. My brothers, I advise you to harvest your masculine energy because if you give off that alpha order, she shall charm the cobra. My brothers, always take the lead and show her some fun and rock her bun because in the Cheek Slang Constitution, there are three important rules. Hang out, have fun, and slay cheeks. Thank you, Pastor Coach Corey Wayne. But I remind you this, Watch who you choose and date because may I remind you, don't walk into your slaughterhouse because there is no woman out there more beautiful than your freedom. Embrace your masculine energy. Stand up for yourself. Have a backbone. Have a spine. Because if you don't, your cheek slain invitation shall be declined. You are not a doormat. Be able to say no to a woman because nowadays women are paralyzed. No guy can tell her no. But if you tell her no and stand up for yourself, indifference makes a difference to a woman. You gotta switch it up on a bitch. And may I end it on this note? Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Oh! My brothers, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.